Hi everyone, it's Tino Pesenti and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm in Darwin. Uh, it's close to Dumaguete on Negros Island and I'm still in the Philippines. Darwin is a very famous spot for divers, macro photographers especially, because everything you see is like that big around here. Uh, you can see things that you will never see anywhere else in the world and it's a pretty cool place to come for diving. Uh, today I'm with my friend Sergio. Sergio, he's started diving like a couple of years ago and he just wants me to help him with his buoyancy because apparently he had like some issues recently. So I'm going to take care of him today with that. Before we start, I would like to be precise on the fact that I'm not getting paid for this video. I am just promoting a dive shop that I believe is doing a great job in what they're doing and I also want to give you guys an idea on who to dive with if you ever come down to Darwin. There are divers everywhere. Uh, here's uh, Tito. Tito, one of the dive masters. He is uh, very good at finding uh, very small stuff, small aquatic life. Hi. What's your favorite thing on the water? No difference and frogfish. Ah, great. I heard the other day you saw some uh, harlequin shrimps? Yeah. During the night dive here in front? Yeah. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Take care, see you, man. <laughs> so look at that. Here's really the spot. And when you want to come to dive, like you can see tanks everywhere. You can learn how to dive. You can have amazing dives. You can try. To dive here like it's worth everything see have all their equipment here you see divers everywhere it's the spot to come to when you want to dive that's the boat their big boat there's another dive boat here uh, they're getting ready with all the tanks going to the refill station I'm going to show you the refill station and Let's meet you guys back there. Right now I'm in front of the uh, dive shop called Bongo Bongo uh, here in Darwin. And I chose this place uh, five years ago because it's a chill place. It's a cool place to relax, you know, there's a good atmosphere. I haven't been much into other resorts. I'm pretty sure they have amazing spot. I might even talk about some of them uh, later in some of my videos but for now I'm gonna show you what it is about this spot <laughs> so now everything is uh, uh, coming back from the dives they're just cleaning everything and then uh, getting ready to be dry and feeling fine <laughs> so as I was saying just before here you have the refill station so you can have some air tanks and some nitrox tanks. Nitrox tanks is like, I'm not gonna explain what nitrox is. If you're really interested, just go online and check. It's just another way to dive. Um, as you can see, everything is very well organized, ready for some amazing dives. This uh, dive resort also they have an IDC center so they prepare dive masters to become instructors. Uh, we call them IDC uh, centers, in IDC instructor uh, development course. So they have a little classroom here for their instructors and yeah I think uh, it is a nice place to take your instructor course. I mean, you have lots of places to take your instructor, but definitely here is a nice place to do so. Um, so you can see everything's well, very well organized. The diving gear is in pretty good shape. All the suits you need. Now, other part of the place, it's very, it's a chill place. If you come here, it's really to chill. There's a nice atmosphere, lots of divers. It's really for diving. If you come here, it's to dive. Hello. <laughs> and here is Sergio. I guess back from uh, his dive. Yeah. What's up, Sergio? They were amazing dives. Yeah? You had a good time? Yeah. Cool. So you're ready to go again with me? Yep. Yeah? 
Cool, cool. Uh, five years ago, it was a lot smaller than it is right now. They also have a huge pool, very well organized. Like uh, that side of the pool is kind of the deeper end of the pool. So you can sort of do all the practicing, the exercise you have to do. And of course, for sh all the shallow exercise, shallow training, it is the place you will go. And then at any time, <laughs> of course, you can have a good time relaxing and then uh, being around, right? Being a pool like that is a very good pool to do the training, to do all the practicing before you get in, uh, in the ocean. That's what we call confined uh, water training. You have all the apartments, you have some with air cons, some with fan. They even have dormitories. I think the dorm is like 400 pesos per night, something like that, which is more or less $8. Um, another thing I would like to add is the internet here is super duper fast. If you come in the Philippines and you want to have good internet, I'm not talking for other places, but Bongo Bongo has a very good uh, internet. So another thing I really like about this place is that they, um, they trust their customers. So you come here as a customer and you basically have a little board over there. Here, customers write their names, okay? And then you just go for some drinks here in one fridge or the other, soft drinks, alcoholic drinks, and they trust you. And I love the concept of trusting people to not be too much worried about whether people are going to steal or anything like that they're very trusty and this is a good thing right now I'm going to get slowly ready with uh, Sergio uh, we'll go in the water like I was saying to do some skill practice breathe normally and then take a normal breath you go down and then up and down and up and then you're pretty much set on whether you need more weight in power inflator and I'll also practice so I caught Sergio cheating because now he has to put his gear on and he was looking on the other equipment <laughs> so now I'm refreshing Sergio's knowledge on how to assemble his equipment a word to all the divers or future divers who are watching this video. You need to always know and remember how to assemble your equipment to be completely and fully prepared for your dives. In the Philippines they usually assemble the equipment for you and I'm not a big fan of that as I get divers sometimes with 40 or more dives who don't know how their equipment work and how to assemble it. Thinking about it that way, your gear is what keeps you alive, right? So don't you think it is important to check everything yourself before going underwater? Right now we're walking to the beach. It's right over there and we're gonna start to do a little bit some exercise and practice underwater. Uh, it's quite heavy and quite hot at the moment. I'm sweating like hell. We should be in the water right now. Quick explanation about buoyancy. Underwater, if you take a deep breath, you will go up. And if you exhale, you will go down. If you keep breathing continuously and deeply, you will be able to keep your body in a streamline. But be careful, if you don't masterize your buoyancy, this is what's going to happen. Ha! What you want is to be able to keep your buoyancy neutral so that you can just wow. stay on sustentation above the reef and have a good dive. I recommend everyone who is not feeling completely comfortable with his buoyancy to ask an instructor for advice or even taking some time practicing, especially after you've got your first license. Four to five dives is for sure not going to make you a pro. It is something hard to masterize and you'll definitely not be the first person in need to practice it. A lot of divers think that they know how it works and at the end they're not that good. Look at Sergio, he's already improving. Now it's time for me to show you what we can see around here.
for watching this is the end of the video hope you enjoyed watching if you enjoyed leave a like if you have any question leave a comment in the comment section below and Sergio anything to say if you want to die with Tino get a hold of him <laughs> I think that's a good one all right guys thank you and then see you for the next video <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!